You've got two empty halves of coconut and you're banging them together. We have a night who say... Hello and welcome to the Knights of Knee. I'm Jordan and today we're going to take a look at some, uh, actually one of my favorite units that I have for uh, the Orcs in 40k and that's knobs, the standard knobs. I really really do like the Mega Knobs, but I think that at least now and well, we're at his 8th edition, I think at least now um, normal knobs have definitely shied away from being as good as they used to be. They're a little, they're better than they were in seventh edition, but I, I still don't feel they're where they're supposed to be. And I actually had been working on a long time. I've been a Bad Moods fan since 1997, I think. There was a uh, was a fourth edition or third edition. They had a little excerpt in each clan in that codex. It was a paperback codex. Awesome short stories in there, but Bad Moods just, I don't know. They really, they really drew, they drew me in. I really liked them. This is one of the units I painted about two years ago, and I gotta say, um, looking at these compared to things that I've done more recently, I'm definitely, uh, I've definitely come a long way from this. Um, there's a, you'll see a lot of monotones in here. The skin's not too bad on the orc, orc knobs, but there's just so much more that I could have done just with dry brushing or spending a little bit of time, especially on the rusting that I've been doing it recently. There's just so much more things I could have done to these to really help them excel. And dry brushing is one of the just one of the easier things to do. It takes like no time at all, and it, it just really improves um, the model together. But these aren't bad. These are still good. I do like these. I do like putting them on the table, and I do like the way they look. But if you look like really closely, there's things missing. Like uh, some teeth aren't quite done right or all the way. Um, some things just don't have the highlights they should have. And the rust. Rust is a big thing. I don't know. I've just become a really big fan of the rust effect that I've been doing. And. Uh, I just love these knobs. These are definitely, um, you, you can't feel them the way that they're, they're equipped. I suppose you could if just nobody knew, but the index has custom shooters in it, and the codex does not. Thankfully, the knobs with custom shooters, uh, that at least that option wasn't moved to Legends recently in the 2019 chapter approved book. So I still can run um, these 10 knobs, and there is another knob that I've done uh, who has a Bad Moons banner that kind of rides around with these. It's a wah banner, but it's uh, got the little sun and everything on it. But they um, they can still be used how they're shown. There's like two power claws in there, a big chopper, there's a power stab, and that's the guy with the hook hand. And uh, everyone in the entire unit has custom shooters. There's two ammo runs in there, and then pretty much everybody else that has been mentioned, so seven people, I think. One, two, six people have just standard choppers. It's just... Uh, just such an awesome thing um, to feel these guys and just talking about them. And if you haven't, if you're not familiar with the fluff, I'm probably not going to go into the fluff right now because there's just so much around it. But I just love fielding them. Um, I wish that they had the option to take heavy armor again um, and improve their save by a little bit. And I wish that there was the option to have cyborg body be better. But uh, I, that's kind of the trend with orcs is you just don't have any saves like you used to be able to have unless you want mega knobs. But then you don't really have, there's not really a whole lot of ways to garner invulnerable saves in 40k for them anymore. And they used to take uh, cyborg bodies and they can have that. And now I believe only one knob in the entire unit can have a cyborg body. I just don't feel that's worth it. I don't think it's worth uh, the point cost for what it is. But I do really like throwing these dudes on the table you got 10 dudes with four shots at 24 inches that's 40 shots i mean it's awesome and then being bad moons sixes get extra hits ones get to re-roll and i have two ammo runs to re-roll two dice uh that aren't ones so like a two through a four if they ran a two through five but the ammo ones are really there to uh to take wounds when their battle wagon that they're riding around in is destroyed Huge fan of the Battle Wagon now. Um, ever since the uh, 8th edition drop chain and all those changes, the Battle Wagon is just... Now there's three kinds of them, but the Battle Wagon is just so much better than what it used to be. I mean, it wasn't bad in 7th edition, but 7th edition definitely, I think, needed to go away. And eighth, the way that they presented 8th edition with how vehicles work and the set wounds and the deteriorating strength, I'm so much more a fan of. That's my two cents on that. So I hope you guys like these. Uh, leave your comments in the description, and I'll see you around.